Welcome to the Volunteer San Diego video podcast number eight. It's July 1st, 2009. I'm Casey DeLorm. And I'm Brent Shintani. And we're here today at Care Fusion, who just used Volunteer San Diego as part of their celebration launching a new company. Hey, I'm here with Jim Mazzola with Care Fusion, which just used Volunteer San Diego volunteers as part of a relaunch, a spin-off of their former company, Cardinal Health. I got that right. That's all right. Great. I'm doing terrific. Nice Good. to be here with you. Did I get that straight? You did. Uh, what we're doing today is Care Fusion is based right here in San Diego with about 2,000 employees locally, and today is day one of launching the Care Fusion brand. Outstanding, and I heard you had 1,500 people at the actual ceremony this morning. That's right. We had a great turnout. Our employees all came out to celebrate the uh, the, the turning over of the Cardinal Health uh, brand and, and launching of the Care Fusion brand. Right. Um, talk a little bit about using volunteers as part of a celebration like this. One of the things that was important to us in our brand launch was really reflecting the culture of this new company. And one piece of that culture is really giving back to the communities where we live and work. And so what we did is we titled this first day as Care Fusion as the Day of Caring. And so at 20 locations worldwide, we had our employees uh, volunteer for various activities in their community. And so here locally, we chose to partner with Volunteer San Diego to help us identify needs in the community and uh, you know align our, our employees and give them some great opportunities to help out and volunteer. Oh, fantastic. I can't think of a better way to do it. Um, if I understand correctly, uh, Volunteer San Diego basically helped you guys almost with a turnkey solution that allowed you to use Volunteer San Diego to manage volunteers, set up projects. Um, you guys were involved though in thinking specifically where the projects would be and what they would do, is that correct? That's right. So uh, what we did was, uh, you know, we are launching a new company, we're fairly lean, we don't have a lot of employees. <laughs> And so Volunteer San Diego provided us just a great turnkey approach to be able to have an organization that could help us make selections. We gave some ideas of the things we'd like to do that align with our focus and our mission and what our employees have interest in, but to find opportunities for us to really help out the community and then just handle everything for us. So it was really a nice turnkey approach for us to be able to get a lot of employees mobilized in a short period of time to really do some good in the community. Good luck to you guys and, and thanks for thanks for involving Volunteer San Diego. Thank you very much. We're here with Kelly Ochoa, the Development Director for Volunteer San Diego, and one of her many, many duties is actually helping coordinate projects like what we're doing with Care Fusion today. And there's a lot of coordination that goes into getting a team this big. We've got, what, 1,500 people volunteering today? Well, there's actually 1,500 people in the company as a whole. So 500 of those are getting started out today. We have uh, four different sites. Um, there's four projects going on at this location and then three other separate locations. We have one um, beach cleanup, two shifts in that. We have a Feeding America project where they're packing food boxes at the food bank. And then we have a fire recovery project where they're actually clearing a lot of land for people that are getting their homes rebuilt in the 2000 fires. How many people does this take at Volunteer San Diego to coordinate this many people in the Well, Volunteer San Diego is a very small organization, so everyone, basically. <laughs> um, on site, we've got about, I think, 10 to 12 staff that are out working. Um, we try to make it just super easy to volunteer, so when the volunteers get there, we want to have everything coordinated so that they can go, feel the impact of what they're doing, work, and go back to their office and talk about how great the volunteer project was. So to do that, it takes a lot of staff ahead of time, a lot of planning and setup. Um, I've been up since 6.15 this morning, unloading things from a van, so it's so that the volunteers get there and really um, can just get to work and do what they want to do rather than have to kind of stand around and what am I painting sort of thing. So. so Care Fusion or somebody like them wants to put on a program like this, mm -hmm. they give you guys a call. What do they have to worry about and what do you guys just take care of? Them? Well, it's about a 90-10 split of us taking care of everything. So um, the organization or the company can be as specific as possible and say, we want to work with youth on the second Tuesday in September and we want to have 200 people doing it. Go. So we'll go out to our um, 800 organizations that we work with, nonprofits, schools, government entities like Parks and Rec, and say, um, we need a youth focus. What kind of projects do you need? Because our main focus is to fill in that community need. Because we know that companies ultimately want to be doing something that's useful and sustainable in the community. So we go out there and kind of do a little uh, request for proposals and say, what do you guys need? And then we do all the site visits, the supplies, the coordination, everything. And we basically give them an option of, here's five projects, which ones sound good to you? And they pick from there, and um, it's kind of all they have to do. And then they help with employee registration and everything, but other than that, we take it from there. And they get to show up, have a great day, and um, have some snacks and do some good. And so, so actually, there's a lot happening behind the scenes with Volunteer San Diego taking care of things, because it sounds like 
there's the relationships you guys have with the existing organization, so you can go to them and say, what type of projects do you need Absolutely. that fit this criteria? Absolutely. Um, there's the organizational part of it where you're coordinating all the people that are involved, and then there's the actual on-scene management of what's happening like on the ground today. Right. Well, I mean, if anybody's um, planned a wedding or any big event, this is, this is very similar to that. Now we're going to talk to Doug Westcott, who's with Ronald McDonald here in San Diego. That's right. What's your what's your title there? Development coordinator. Development coordinator. Okay. Yeah. We want to understand a little bit about, I know that Volunteer San Diego uh, brings you volunteers for a program like this and serves kind of as a coordinator between corporate entities that are looking to do a volunteer project and the good that can be done for you guys. And, and what does that achieve for you? Well, Volunteer San Diego is very good at listening to what we need. And uh, as Kelly said earlier, there's sort of a matchmaker between the needs of uh, nonprofits and corporations and uh, the volunteers that want to help. So, volunteers that are putting together welcome packages for their families. So, that when a family comes into the house, they have some essentials like toothbrushes, uh, razors, uh, deodorant, shampoo, things like that. Um, so, that's all taken care of. And that's the mission of the house is to take care of all the necessities of life so that they can, the families can concentrate on their child thing. On an average month, we have 950 hours that volunteers put in. So we couldn't do our job without volunteers. But we do have base staff. And you guys work with the volunteers in San Diego quite a bit, not just on a project like this, but also uh, they're trafficking uh, 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 volunteers for you. Well, Volunteer San Diego has a wider range, than a wider audience. Their um, web page is uh, uh, huge and uh, their database is huge and they have people that come to them think of them first for volunteer projects where they might not think of Ronald McDonald House. So they'll find that they'll, as Kelly said earlier, uh, if they want to work with kids or if they want to work with families, Volunteer San Diego has their pages segmented so they can uh, go in and find that segment and run down the list of, of possible places where they can volunteer. Uh, and that's a great benefit to us, so it's a wider uh, audience that, that they bring in. Okay, so it's bringing in more people that would normally have found Ronald McDonald House as a volunteer opportunity on their own. Or they might not have even thought of Ronald McDonald House. Okay. They just wanted to work with kids or with families, and we're on their list. Excellent. You know, I found Volunteer San Diego by looking on the website at VolunteerSanDiego.org, but I hear there's a telephone number too. Yes, you can give us a call at 858-636-4131. For Volunteer San Diego, I'm Casey DeLorme. And I'm Brent Chintani. Reminding you that you can make a difference. Volunteer San Diego rocks!